If you have sciatic pain, SI joint pain, try the video and tell me how it worked for you. However, this video also is good if you have Achilles tendon pain or hard calves, hard feet, if the feet are feeling tense, if the legs are tense in general. I think this video works, this lesson will work very well for you too. Let's get to it. Actually, we will be on all fours, so you don't need the carpet. <laughs> uh, the carpet is always nice if you want to take a rest. And we will take a short, short rests in between. And then come on to your, on all fours please. Knees and hands. And uh, if your hands are hurting, you can come onto your fists. And if that doesn't work, you can come onto your elbows. But that's elbows is last resort. Um, all right. So that's the, the first thing you're on. And there's so many lessons about this. Come a little bit closer. Hello. And then the first thing is if you are on all it will organize itself that's the cool thing it will all organize itself it will get better by doing these movement sequences but if you have your knees too far back or too far up which means your knees are not under your hip joints that's not good or if you have your hands too far up or to the sides <laughs> Who would do this? <laughs> Just have your hands under your shoulders and your knees more or less under your hip joints. And start by getting your toes to stand, so your, your feet. Getting your feet standing, yeah? And then extend them. Get them onto the toes. An instep, on the instep. And get them standing again. And long again and here of and, and do this start to do this do this a couple of times and start to make a move out of it and you will notice you can bring them down onto your big toes or second toes or third toes or more the pinky toes and try to start to do it faster And faster, and maybe you can hear a sound. You're making a sound with the toes. And my question for you is, which foot is faster? Try to identify. Go fast enough so you can identify that one, one foot is faster than the other. And if, you, if they're both the same, then they're the same. But maybe one is faster than the other. Let's do it with the left foot only. Left foot, bring the toes to standing and flat again. 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 Standing and, and, and faster. And then with the right foot. Standing and flat again. Standing and flat. You get the idea. Up, da, 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 da. Then both in opposite directions. One is standing, one is flat. One is standing, one is flat. Can you do this? <laughs> take a rest, take a rest. I had one client, he tore his Achilles tendon playing tennis. He's 74 years old, playing tennis, Bang, Achilles tendon, hospital, surgery, they had to cut open this, this long, like 15, 15 centimeters, because the Achilles tendon was already 
uh, drawn up and they have to draw it back down and sew, sew it together and close it. And then he had a lot of therapy and, and massages. He had two different massage therapists and one physiotherapist. And then he come, came to see me. And he did a lot of work on, on his bad foot. So actually the bad foot was a lot softer than his good foot. <laughs> And he was faster with his bad foot than with his uh, good foot. So we had to work on, on his, for him it was, I don't know, left or right, on his bad side with the slower one. And we will work with the slower one too to, to see the magic of Feldenkrais. Mm, before we do that, uh, let me give you one more question. So come, come on all fours again. With, on your knees and on your hands and get your feet to standing. Wait a little bit and extend them again. Get them to standing, extend them uh, and do it slow. And then notice your breathing and answer my question. Do you breathe in while you flex your feet, you draw your, your toes up or do you breathe in while you extend your feet or bring the instep down. At what point do you breathe in? At what movement do you breathe in? Yeah? Leave your comment below. I can give you more, more, more difficult question. When you draw your feet up, when you bring your toes to standing, will you uh, extend your back or will you flex your back? Will your pelvis tilt anterior or will your pelvis tilt posterior? How is the movement of the feet connected with the movement of your pelvis and the movement of your head in this regard? Uh, that's a difficult question. In, <clears throat> my trainer asked this question when I was in basic training 10, 10 12 years ago. And they didn't give me the answer. And this was this Viennese trainer and she didn't give us the answer and I was very upset about it. I needed like 10 years to find out by my own. Uh, does your pelvis tilt anterior or posterior when you get your feet to standing? That's the question. So you can think about it a little bit and I will answer it in the next video. You don't have to wait 10 years. Comment below what do you think. All right. So take your bad, work with your, your the, the leg that is less fast, the slower foot, work with the slower foot. I will use my left one. You're all, you, <laughs> it's, it's a terrible lesson today, all right. So you're on all fours, it's late. Uh, and okay. Pull yourself together. So you use your left leg, your left foot, toes long on the floor, and bring. No, no, no don't use it. I need. Do I need to work on this video? I will cut it. Use the foot which is less good and slide the foot to the outside. Use your knee as a hinge, and then slide it back in again. Slide the foot outside and you stay with one foot. Don't change sides. Stay with one foot, slide it outwards, use your knee as a hinge and slide it back in. Don't go bong to end range and bong to the inside, but do it gradually. Just slide it a little bit outwards and inwards and outwards and inwards and don't do strange things, just do it very, very naturally. Just slide it, slide it out and in and see how far can you slide it. And you have to work delicately, delicately. If we're talking sciatic nerve, McGill came up with the term flossing. You, you see a nerve is not, not something invisible. And continue with the movement. A nerve is, is big, like a vessel. It's like half centimeter diameter. 
in anatomy, you can really see a nerve, and it runs down. I don't know where the sciatic nerve runs down, but if you pinch it in L4 or L5, you, some people feel it in their toes only, or all the way up on the knees, or in their upper leg, or here in their back, between uh, the ilium and the ischium, Kreuzbein und Darmbein, würde ich mal sagen. All right, so you have this movement. Do it delicately, yeah? This is number one, one movement. Then, on all fours again, you're on all fours. Move your head to the side of your leg. If you have been working with your left leg, you turn your head to the left and it's less of a turn and more of a swivel, a swivel to the side. As if you would want to look at your foot. Bring your foot outwards. Have your foot to the side and then look at the foot and then bring your head center again between your arms and then turn again to the left and come back and turn again to the left and come back and do this a couple of times delicately so your side, one side is becoming shorter and the other side is becoming longer. One side is shortening, it's side bending, this is side flexion. Or you can leave your, you can leave your foot where it is on all fours and just turn over your shoulder. It's a flexion, it's it's not just turning the head, it's a flexion to the side, as if you would like to see your foot. Go over, and really, you lengthen one side and you shorten the other side. There's a whole side bending lesson. But this one is special because it's on all fours. So your spine is free. If you would be on your back, your spine is free too, but it's, it, you have to work against friction and gravity on the floor. Now your, your spine is in the air. In German we have a term, it's like Schwebebahn. It's like a train which is in the air, air train. I don't know how to call this in English. Some cities have it. Okay, now we combine. Bring your foot to the outside and also bring your head to the outside and move both at the same time. So you move your lower end, which is the leg, you move your, feet, your foot to the outside and then you move your head to the outside and you do both together, you combine them together. If this is getting tiring, being on all fours, you can take a short break or go as far as stopping the video, take a break and then continue again. I continue right away. Now do it with your toes standing. Same foot, just the toe standing. Slide your foot to the outward, to the outside, using your knee as a hinge. And then just with the head. And then the head and the foot together. And then come back on all fours. And just slide your foot to the outside and see how this affects your upper body. Just slide your foot to the outside and see if the sliding of the foot invites your head to turn to the outside, to turn towards the foot. And when I did this lesson, the first time I was quite taken by this. This really, it stroke a chord inside me. It really touched me deeply because when I did it the first time, I just moved the foot and it was just the foot. But then I did the head both together and the next time I just did the foot I could feel it through my whole spine. The whole spine was inclined to 
this side flexion movement as if this small movement of the foot would invite my head to go to the left and come back. Just this tiny movement. And then, of course, it's an inward rotation of the upper leg, right? Of course, there's something happening in the hip joint and, and, and here in the back. And that's why I think about sciatica, because it's like flossing this nerve. This nerve is running through the muscles and with these tiny delicate movements or the slow movements, we're like pulling the nerve a little bit through the muscles and the muscles has to provide space for this movement and the bones, everything is moving and, and the muscle can, like flossing the teeth, the, muscle is, uh, the, the nerve is going up and down through the flesh and through fascia and all, all the stuff uh, that, that's inside. And so if a nerve can move, it cannot be pinched at the same time. Pinched means it's hold in place, but no, we try to release it and uh, work it. Uh, one more move, one more move. Bring your foot to the outside. This time, imagine your spine is like a broomstick and you move your, sp your head, your shoulder to the opposite side and then back again. So your pelvis is going to towards the foot and your head in the opposite direction and there's no flexion, don't do any flexion of your upper body, just move it as a stick, stick-like thing, very stiff. We, <laughs> we are rotating the whole body around the hip joint. This is one of the secrets of Feldenkrais too. This is one of the secrets of the method. I, I'm, I speak openly to you. This is a reversal of proximal and distal. And then come on all fours again and just move your foot to the outside and f see if you can feel it through your whole body. Yeah, and then, then finally take a break. Come to lie on your back. Ah, you earned this break. You really earned it. If you stayed on all fours all this time, you really earned this break. All right, then come on all fours again. Hands and knees and return to the first movement, getting your toes to standing and then flat on the instep. And do this and go faster and faster. And now tell me, which foot is faster? If one was good and one was slow and one was fast, maybe both are fast now. Or maybe the one you worked with is faster, isn't it? Okay, now of course we can do the sa do same thing on the, on, the other, on the other foot, other side. Uh, move the foot, move the head, move foot and head together. Uh, move upper body like a broomstick around the hip joint. And then uh, get together again. <laughs> Please pause, <laughs> pause the video. <laughs> Do it just quickly. I'm not going through it uh, now, or maybe or take your time. Okay, take take. We do it. I will not guide you through it. Just take your time to do the movement. Couple of minutes. Just do the movement for yourself. Ah, one is with the foot long, and one is with the foot standing. Can you remember? Put long to the outside and turn with the upper body. 
or both together. And when you're done, take a break on your back, a pause. Then come on to your, your all fours again, the hands and the knees. Uh, most of the moves I'm going to show you now is just uh, variations. There's a couple of original moves, but most is variations. So let's do one variation, which means you're on all fours and then bring both feet to the outside. Ah, ha. Both feet to the outside at the same time and come back both feet. Of course now the spine cannot move left and right because both feet move at the same time, isn't it? That's interesting. One other variation. Move both feet to one side, to the same side, like the right foot to the right and the left foot to the right as well and back. Both feet to the same side. And then also move the head to the side. Or keep your feet to the side and just move the head. Side bending again. And then the feet and the head together. Do this. Uh, not like a machine or like a window cleaner in the car, the, you know, in the car, duh, 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 duh. but do it with awareness. Go slow enough so you can feel something and you're still in control. Your movement are connecting to your thinking. Your movement is connected to your thinking, right? You can feel where you are. You're in the end position, you're underway, you're meet, meet, meeting center, then you go outside again, then do the other side, both feet to the other side. Also let your head participate, your spine participate, or just the head, or just the legs, or your head and the legs, or you keep your legs to the outside and you move your upper body like a broomstick, stiff to the other side, to the opposite side. And then continue moving. It's always, every variation you do will make the original move better. You will always improve. There will always be improvement. And then you can do the same thing with your feet standing. Same variations. All right, let's, con let's return to the, to the feet thing. Feet standing, feet flat. Feet standing, feet flat. Feet standing, feet flat. Feet standing, feet flat. Faster and see. Smoother, huh? Easier. Faster. 
easier, more powerful. Just one foot, just the other foot. It's improve. And then if you can, sit back on your heels. Sit back if you can, otherwise just uh, take a rest somehow. Then come onto your knees and elbows. Finally, the elbows. <laughs> this is a genius variation. It's, it's very nice. So you're on your elbows, you're on your knees. Now lift your heels towards your buttocks. Lift your, yes, lift your heels towards your buttocks and come down again. You can shift your weight a little bit forwards over your hands. So you can have your hands together, you can have your hands apart, that's not the point. The point is to lift your heels towards your buttocks and, buttocks and bring them down again a couple of times. Then keep your heels in the air and start to flex your feet and extend your feet. Flex the feet, extend the feet. Also feel a connection, maybe to the pelvis, to the spine, when you do this. I will talk about this in the next video a bit more, about how the movement of the feet, dorsiflexion and plantar flexion, how it affects the tilt of the pelvis. Then, asymmetric movement, one foot goes up, one goes down, just, a, just a flexion in the ankles. Feet stay up, but flexion in the ankles and both together. <laughs> Funny movement, huh? It feels, in, when I did this the first time, it was the strangest thing. Now it feels quite familiar already. Okay, then take a break on your back. Wow, this is different. Something happened to my spine. Oh, it's more subtle. I, the floor changed. Didn't it? Come back onto all fours. We'll do a couple more variations. What else can we do? You can put your feet, your knees together and move your feet to the outside, to one side first, a couple of times, and feel it already invites your spine to side flex into the direction where your feet are going and just let your head turn Allow your head to turn towards your feet. One side and the other side. Ooh. Okay, one last variation. Uh, feet a little bit apart, heels a little, uh, knees a bit apart. Bring both feet to your right and then start to sit down and behind, so you have to act like you're sitting down, move your pelvis like you're sitting down, tilt your pelvis a little bit anterior, just a little bit, start to sit down next to your feet, just a bit, and then come up again. This is great for Japanese sitting. Sit back a little bit, little bit, just never go into stretching. No, 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 no stretching. No, 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 no stretching. Just go, maybe your feet turn a little bit. Maybe the tibia rotates a little bit. Fibula rotates a little bit. Your spine is bending. You just feel the, the subtleties of this movement. And don't, don't do stretching. Just see how far is it comfortable. Come up again. Then bring your feet to the other side. 
and start to sit down on this side. Start to sit down and come up again. For me, it's more difficult this side. Come up again, try the first side again, the right side. Sit down there once. Not entirely, just as far as it's easy. Then the other side. A little bit, down, down, down. down, down. All right, that's enough for today. Come back on all fours. Bring your feet to standing. Extend them to standing. See how that feels when you do it slow, how that changed. When you do the feet separately, opposite directions, how that feels. Right? And then when you go faster, how is that? All right, and then you can either sit back, come to, st I sit exceptionally well now. It's exceptionally well. <laughs> this is fun. And then come to standing and see how the feet are carrying you. How is the feeling? of your feet, when your body is on top of the feet. How is your Achilles tendon feeling, your, the soles of your feet? Huh? How is your sciatica if you have? I'm interested in the sciatica. Maybe you feel something. Maybe something changed. Pl please leave a comment. Ah, take a, a couple of steps and I hope you like this lesson. Have a great day or a great night and see you in the next video.